usually. Boom. Borg invasion. Federation's working on repelling them. All right, so I'm going to play the Federation today. I've got my usual show breakdown. The uh, Nishizumi and my face card with their usual upgrades. Moving over, I've got the Katusha with its usual upgrades. The two fighter squadrons, as per. But new today, I've also brought in the new uh, Venture that just came out. Janeway and some mines. As well, I've got a Sovereign class, the face card, the Enterprise E, with Spock and a dorsal phaser. Stargazer with some mines, Will Riker. And then just a bare bones Sovereign uh, with a level one captain. I'm gonna use that to take on the Berg. This is Rich, he's gonna play the Borg. All right, so I'm starting off with a tactical uh, cube 138 with the Borg Queen, the, uh, this version here that starts at power eight. She's gonna have a, a blade of armor, shield matrix, photon torpedoes, and a magnetic guided charge with her. Supporting her along is uh, just the Borg starship, the Sphere, with a number four tactical drone, assimilation tubes, and a Borg missile. Moving over here, we've got just a regular little Borg scout, nothing special, tactical drone with level two, and it can self-destruct. We've got the Sung St Borg starship, just the regular type three, with a level three drone, feedback pulse, uh, kinetic neutron mines, and transport conduit. And then the Borg, the Queen Vessel Prime, with a level five uh, captain, with the Borg shield matrix, a blade of armor, full assault, and a transwarp signal. Ooh. All right, let's get it on.
Okay, so really quick, my concept of ops. I had a I had a sovereign class on each end, fighters, fighters, and then um, I think it was like my two big uh, strong ones in the middle, and then the stargaze and the venture kind of off. So it was really strong on the right, and then kind of, but it was more or less evenly bounced along. And my plan had kind of been like a pincer, moving through. I wanted the uh, sovereign to kind of swoop, you know, send these guys out as gushy, uh, as, you know, delicious little targets. It kind of worked because you hammered the Prometheus first to bring you in, but before that, and then before I could swing around to, you know, kind of close the trap, no plan, survivors contact, everybody just went every which way, and uh, yeah, and then just my bad luck with the with the Borg, the dice weren't with me for a couple rolls. I had a lot of bad maneuvers and kept bumping into obstacles. I didn't get into a good firing position, and uh, you just brought more gun, more you had more active weapons uh, when it counted. So what my plan was? Sure. So what my general plan was was I put my two heavy hitters in the center again, and I wanted to try and suck Stu into the center. I put my fastest ship on the far left, which was the Sung, with a sphere just behind it. The sphere was more of a decoy because I wanted the Sung to flank around, and if I couldn't get it done in time, use its transport, which I did. I put the scout here at with the uh, self destruct, kind of as basically a feint. And then when he started sucking these guys in, I moved my, my heavy hitters to the right, overwhelming one side, while the scout came in and didn't get to detonate, but it sucked up four of his ships for an entire turn, yeah. which caused this thing. So pretty much things went close to the way I wanted, but... I was happy to destroy the scout ship before it blew up, and I was happy to destroy the sphere before it turned the ablative armor on, but uh, other than those two good points, I just couldn't... Because I knew that was my biggest threat, and I tried to get as many guns on it as possible, like, I got it down pretty far. I got it down pretty far, and I got—I I mean, I, I did hit everything, but I just couldn't. The, the dice shield, just weren't with me. It was the shield matrix that saved me. Yeah, I just couldn't uh, get past the shield matrix enough to survive. Uh, any other points? No, that was a good that game. was a solid game. Thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. An embarrassing failure. <laughs> <laughs>